With 37 professional titles won around the world, Lee Westwood has amassed an impressive collection of silverware in an illustrious career spanning over 19 years. But he's yet to win a major title, and this is despite 13 top 10 finishes. At the Masters this year, the world number three led the opening round. But a difficult week with his putter ended his title hopes and finished the event tied third. Two shots behind Louis Oosthuizen and eventual winner, Bubba Watson. When you have a lot of chances and you're good tee to green, um, people don't see the ones that you hold, they, they only focus on the ones you, you miss. That's unfortunate the way a lot of people are when they're viewing golf, they're very negative and they don't focus on the positive. So basically you don't listen to a word they're saying and just you know, make your, form your own opinions and, uh, and I work on my own game. Despite not winning a major yet, earlier this year Lee got the chance to meet the Queen when he was awarded the Order of the British Empire for his services to golf. I was given an OBE back in uh, um, February. That was a very special day. It's always nice to, to meet the Queen and go to Buckingham Palace. Uh, it's a very sort of historical and traditional ceremony and it was nice to be part of it. Speaking of royalty, Westwood was dethroned from the number one spot by Luke Donald. Tit for tat in a way, resulting in a healthy rivalry. But a third person has joined the party, Irishman Rory McElroy, who is currently top of the rankings. Rivalries do uh, develop. It's, it's not something you can force. Uh, you know, I think that happens a lot that people try and pair players together, but. Uh, you know, the only way it happens is by people getting into, con into contention in the bigger tournaments together and, uh, you know, fighting it out, which may not happen as much nowadays because, you know, the strength in depth. Rory's obviously the youngest, um, you know, showed a phenomenal amount of consistency at the start of the year and at the end of last year to get to world number one. And that's what it takes, you know, it's all about consistency and, and Luke obviously showed it a lot last year and then regained the spot. But, you know, both have very different games. About having different games, the world number three has a keen interest in an alternative sport altogether, horse racing. Just, I'd always been interested, you know, my dad was a keen race horse and, uh, um, you know, once I'd earned a, a few quid, I decided to invest in a race horse, which is not a wise move for anybody. And it's just grown from there, you know, you start off with one and I've got shares in 20 now, so I uh, might have to take a look at that and try and rein it in to use a, a horse term. Well, for now at least, the world number three will be focused on defending his title at the CIMB Niaga Indonesian Masters, presented by PNTS. The tournament in its second year has received a tremendous boost in the form of a title sponsor. I think this is a golden opportunity for CIMB Niaga, because before this, the CIMB group is already a sponsor to the CIMB Asia-Pacific Classic in Malaysia. And I think they're going to their third year. So in Malaysia, it was a big event, and I told the group, you know, that it would be very nice if one day we can do something in Indonesia. And we're so pleased that it came to life, and now, you know, CMB Niaga is a title sponsor for the 2012 Indonesian Masters. The Royal Jakarta Golf Club is a green paradise, lined by exotic plants and calming water bodies, and could lead the golfers into a full sense of security, only to bite back when the wind picks up. Wrestling away, Westwood's crown will be a tough task, but the prize money will make it a worthwhile challenge.